I even put on some red lipstick for you today. I comb my hair. My hair is so straight. I didn't even straighten it and I woke up. Maybe it's the length is kind of weighing it down. I don't know. I do need to get a little trim. I don't want to cut it short yet. I want to let it grow for a little bit and then have fun with it. I did put that fork. I figured out how to use it. I, I mean, I guess I could put it on a higher bun, but I have it on a low bun right now, and it's phenomenal. I have never used one of those forks. So this one works really, really well. I'm really happy with it. But uh, yeah, so today's day two. I have some footage for you throughout this video, of course. Package. Of course, I blackened out everything. This is just because it's so pretty. Doesn't it look like a pretty Christmas package? Well, it's something I bought on eBay. I think it's the, oh, I hate to tear it. It's so perfectly done. Look at that. All of the little edges are so crisp. Oh my gosh, that is a nice, nice seller. I hope the item is just as nice. Uh-oh, lost, lost the respect. Uh, totally against the law, against federal law to use priority boxes like that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So many people. This is why the people at the post office are so darn chintzy. Whenever you ask for something, they act like they're taking their pension or something. So people take the boxes. Well, I just gotta hand it to them. They made a really nice box, but this is totally against the law or policy. I don't know if you'll get arrested, but <laughs> I hope you didn't tape the bubble wrap. That really hurts me. I can't stand when people ruin bubble wrap. Vintage 1930s, 1940s era brown plastic back comb and butterscotch hairpin fork. That sounds really interesting, right? And it looked really nice. Gosh, that is so cool. Feeling like a flamenco dancer in this thing. I don't even know how to use these things. This is so interesting. I didn't pay very much for it. I could not believe it. I paid like $10 shipped. Oh my gosh, it feels so cool. It really does. I'm gonna put my hair up and see how you see how you do it. This looks like I'm gonna dance the flamenco, right? In Salamanca or somewhere. I don't have never been to Spain. Suddenly a three dog night song came into my head. Well, I can't figure it out yet. I'll have to watch a YouTube tutorial. I think you put your hair up in a bun, then you just stick it in there. I can hold my entire... Oh, this is pretty, too. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. This one feels like Bakelite or something. I don't know, but he said 30s, 40s. Wasn't Bakelite invented in the, in the 50s? Or am I wrong? I'm going to try to put this one up. Day up with one. Can you see it? Boom. Excited. I love these. A nice little eBay buy. I'm excited about doing the Vlogmas. I'm excited about this Christmas season. Hopefully we'll have a, a nice little get together with the immediate family. Um, my son will not be coming for Christmas. He's going to come, I think, on the 29th and um, visit for about four or five days. And he'll come back in the spring because they're going to be vacationing somewhere. I don't know where, but supposedly it's cheaper to fly from Houston than from Chicago, wherever they're going. So they'll stop over as well for a couple of days before they fly out to their destination. But I'm excited because uh, I got my house back pretty much. I was able to decorate it. I'm still kind of debating whether I want to pull out the whole shebang that I usually have. <laughs> I'm quite a Christmas hoarder, so I do have quite a few things. All that's in there. I know he pulled out some blue, and that was from my Elvis Blue Room that I did two years ago. I was trying to find that video. I could not find it. It's really strange, but sometimes you cannot access the videos, my old videos, when I look on my channel. But when I search it by name as generally on YouTube, I find it. So it's really strange. But anyway, if I can find some of those old footage videos, I will link them here. And the thing about decorating, though, is that you 
have to take down your other decorations, your other decor. So I'm putting out my Christmas photos from when my children were growing up. They're Santa photos. I have a big collection of those. I, I mostly framed them in light oak frames and they looked really nice. I used to put them all on the piano this year. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. This is the commute to work. I am not quite late yet, so that's good. <laughs> I forgot it's actually Friday. And some people are lucky enough not to work on Friday. There's a lot of four-day work weeks around. So uh, I still have 20 minutes to get to work. And I'm almost there, so hopefully I'll be there on time. Again, this is day two of Vlogmas. Let me know how you're liking the Vlogmas. I know it's not for everyone. I know it's a phenomenon that people actually get less views in their channel when they're on their channel when they do a Vlogmas, but it's something I've always wanted to do. And actually, I was thinking of doing a daily vlog or a daily, daily video two months ago, but I just didn't get the chance. We had other issues. So we're going to see how much I can do this month. I should not have left the house at 712, but I got caught up looking for a box to ship the book and uh, it had to be a big box because it's going media mail. Here I am. Oh my gosh, my legs hurt doing this. I don't see anything good except for that copper bracelet that's not really copper. Don't like the bracelets that much. I like the jewelry box. Box right here. Vintage Monet, I guess. Four ninety nine for all these. Will has a long history of caring for those who I can't tell if that's like a melted crown or what. The ones I like. I thought these were really cute. Everything's so pretty. Oh, yeah, that's original. Beautifully done. Typical. Typical statements. Oh, the bags of jewelry down there. Do you have jewelry on them or watches or what? Yes. I don't want watches, but if they have bracelets or something. Yeah, like the grab bags that you have. Small little bundle, so I'll pass on that. I found a valuable book the other day. It's selling for 150, no, 350 dollars. It's listed two times on Amazon and eBay as well. So. We'll see, I'll probably price mine somewhere in between those prices. A little bit on the lower side, see if it sells. Just never know. It's an art book, 60s art. All right, so this is the book that sold for $200. I think there's about two or three available. They have all sold for around this price, including uh, eBay and Amazon. And it's a fabulous book. It's called Ultraviolet. 69 black light posters from the Aquarian age and beyond and it is truly amazing it um, Has a little black light posters. These are all perforated sheets so you can pull them out and um, Age of Aquarius look at that Truly the reason a black light was invented with these things Look at that Right there memory of the great Have a nice day. <laughs> Look at this guy, the ultimate trip. Kind of looks like gray slick a bit. Just amazing, just day glow. Here's a pretty morbid one. Johnny Potseed, will they turn you on or will they turn on you? Oh, they are truly beautiful. 
support our boys in Vietnam, Korea, Germany, Japan, England, Italy, Canada, Nova Scotia, Ireland. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Turn on with Jesus. These are, oh, I remember these. <laughs> Keep on trucking. Francisco, oh my gosh. I really can see why this sold for this incredible price. I guess it was originally 22, but I got it at the Goodwill for $2.99 for $200. I saw it and I just knew it was special. I knew it was something about picking up these books with um, poster art. I have another one from album art and it was actually produced here in Houston, a publisher here in Houston. And uh, I haven't listed that one, but so I checked the listing and sure enough, $200 was the going rate. Randall's was launched today. I thought it would be good to get one of these to roast marshmallows, but they're $120. And I guess you build your little fire there and it's supposed to keep the porch warm. Those other ones are nice, those big domes, aren't they? I don't know, I've never used one, but I'm really, thinking of getting one. Should I get the teeny one? $20. No, I kind of like this. My husband was telling me I didn't need it. He said he would just fire up the barbecue pit. I have good sandwiches and soups. I don't know if I want soup. Or not. It looks like they took the soup bar out. What in the world? Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's look at the stuff they do have. For a white elephant party? I don't know. That is so cute. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then we have some, oh, those are pretty, like for Secret Santa. But sometimes these mugs are made so cheaply, they start chipping immediately. That one's cute. See, all this kind of stuff will go like 75% off the day after Christmas or Christmas. Tree, that one's cute. Let's see what else we have for orchids. Oh my gosh, we have an orchid that's about 10 years old already. It's beautiful. It's got a lot more branches than that one, but I love that. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen anything so pretty? They're amazing. I love it. I want to get one. I think I'm going to get it. I really think I'm going to get it because it's just amazing. I thought it was fake. That is a real poinsettia. I'm always pronouncing it wrong, I know. Poinsettia, I want it. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. That one's 35. Gorgeous. It is, it's chicken salad. I think I'm gonna get this instead. Yeah, I'll get this with some crackers. If you enjoyed, of course, I'm gonna bring you other videos, jewelry videos and so forth, but I really want to take you through a daily vlog every single day in December, leading to the wonderful 25th. Bye.